shame. I thought they might just go one further, but Simon and Neil go away having raised £32,000 for their two great courses this Christmas. It does mean it's time to meet our next celebrity couple, Leslie Garrett and Paul O'Grady. <laughs> Okay. You know, you're just, supposed to help excuse her. Me. I'm too nervous to do anything. Yes. I've never been so nervous. I'm on the way badly. I can't tell you. We've oh been in the lab the whole time. And we're going to just come out. Settle down, everybody. It could be a long Christmas night. Oh. Right, here we have the singer Leslie Garrett oh. and a great mate, the comedian Paul O'Grady. Leslie, the operatic diva from Doncaster, started out as a science student but switched to singing after an audition for the Royal Academy of Music. She then hit the headlines when she bared her bottom in a production for the English National Opera Company. She also sang Happy Birthday, fully clothed, thankfully, for the Queen, who in return made her a CBE in 2002. Paul grew up in Merseyside <laughs> and has had lots of jobs in the past, including... This is an amazing list. Worked in an abattoir, civil servant, social worker, waiter, wood chopper and Cleo Lane's cleaner. <laughs> But he found fame as his alter ego, Lily Savage, the beehive platinum blonde with the acid tongue. Thanks to Lily, Paul then went from the clubs to TV, including Blankety Blank and his own series, which is where he met Leslie. Yeah. Hope you're keeping up with this. Tonight, Paul's playing on behalf of the John Aspinall Foundation for Endangered Animals, while Leslie's charity is the NSPCC. <laughs> well, I'd never have guessed. <laughs> Leslie and Paul at this moment are just 15 questions away from winning a possible million pounds. If they get oh, stuck on the way, they, they have three <laughs> lifelines to help them. They're 50 50. They can phone a friend. And they can ask this Christmas night audience. Remember, they have to agree, which may or may not be tricky, on all their answers and the use of any lifelines. Lots of luck, you two. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Here it comes. Question number one for 100 quid. Which of these words means nonsense? Slapdash. Balderdash. Pebble dash. Trolley dash. <laughs> I know it. Think. Yeah, because <laughs> I speak it all the time. Go <laughs> on, then you tell me. Balderdash. You have one hundred pounds, Mr. O'Grady. Yeah. 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 Fourteen more to go. You have hundred pounds. So you might as well keep going. You've got three lifelines. Question number two is for two hundred quid. What's the name of the area in front of a petrol station? Four deck. Four hand. Four court. Four lock. Mm. <laughs> Can I say? Mm. It's my turn. I think that's four cups. That's the right answer. You have £200. <laughs> <laughs> you have 200 quid. Question number three is for £300. Here it comes. Which of these is not a name that identifies November the 5th? Firework night. Guy Fawkes night. Mischief night. Bonfire night. I know this. Go on, then. Mischief night. Is the right answer. You have £300. <laughs> You know all about mischief, you, don't you? Yes. My favourite nights, <laughs> bonfire nights. My ancestors were roasted, Leslie. Your ancestors were roasted? Roasted. Seriously? I was at Halloween. I think my great-grandmother was burnt at the stake. More than likely. Birkenhead Marcus, that was two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like shoplifters and Birkenhead Marcus, I tell you. <laughs> you have 300 quid. We digress. Hardly at all. You have 300 quid. Question number four. I'm trying to get you up to 1,000. <laughs> you want me to help you through. You got 300 quid, I'm trying to get up to 500 pounds. The next question, question number four. Nice. What kind of transport would normally take part in a dogfight? Dogs. <laughs> Sorry. Motorcycles. Cars. Trains. Aeroplanes. I think I was aeroplanes. Yep. Yeah. We'll have aeroplanes. So right answer, you have five hundred pounds. Five hundred quid. Right, question number five will guarantee a thousand pounds. Have a look at it. Tell me the right answer. Here it comes. What was the surname of the author, sometimes known by the initials RLS? Shakespeare, Sheridan, Shelley, Stevenson. I haven't got a clue. RLS. Well, Shakespeare's William, wasn't he? Um, oh, but that. Oh, I know it. I know it. What do you the think pennies so? drop with a rattle right down me gutter. <laughs> I'm telling you that. I'm being sick. I'm being no. sick. No. What is it? Robert Louis Stevenson. Stevenson. It's the right answer. Oh. You have a thousand of pounds. Of course it is. Of course it is. Yes. It's obvious, isn't it? It's obvious. Oh, well done, Paul. Oh, lovely. So we've got to think. It's easier than it would be. We've got to yeah. sit, be calm and think. Yes, that's right. Be calm yeah, and I said think. I said that yeah. to you in the toilets earlier, didn't I? Yeah. Right. 
Paul, a great Leslie Garrett have £1,000. That's guaranteed. That's the minimum they get home with tonight. They have all three lifelines. At this moment, they are ten away from £1 million pounds this Christmas night. We take a break. Don't go away. <laughs> I've never seen you so quiet, Paul, ever. I'm paralysed with fear. I've never seen anything <laughs> like this. I'm dying to have a good chew. <laughs> and I can't. <laughs> Down to the elbow. <laughs> Leslie, you spend your whole life, you know, singing at the, the top of your voice, and yet you're all... What do you mean? What's all oh, that? no, sorry. <laughs> do you know what it is, Chris? It's cos it's not our money. Yeah. yeah. You know, if it was my money, I would, well, I would care, I'd be livid. <laughs> but, no, I'd cry even more. But, because, you know, cos yeah. it's for charity, yeah, yeah. you think, oh, don't yeah. want to let them down. And it's because it's not what we it's not what we do for a living, believe it no. or not. I mean and, you know, and I've got the IQ of a Brussels sprout. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not fair. Because no. the switchboard will be jammed with angry Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we've got a thousand pounds. Okay. Uh, which is cool. I mean that's guaranteed. You're ten away from a million, you're five away from thirty two thousand, which is what Simon and Neil got just now. Yeah. Let's have a look. A question number six, this is for two thousand. What's the first name of the Queen's nephew, Lord Linley? Michael. David, Stephen, Alexander. Paul, you look like you knew it straight away. You gave Leslie a pinch for some reason. I think it's David. Do you think it's David? It's David, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. we're sure about that, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. What do you think? David. We think it's David. Do you know him? Does he come around your house? He's made a few wardrobes for me. <laughs> 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 I've a bit of lino down in my bathroom. You know, I <laughs> threw a few shelves up. Are you sure on this one? I think so. <laughs> Are you sure? I think so. Final yeah. answer. Are you sure, yes. Leslie? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The right answer. Hey! <laughs> 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 don't, don't save the voice, save the instrument. Uh, Do you have to live in constant sort of st state of training for your voice? Yes, yes, I'm training all the time. Really? I really I mean, am. I have to exercise it every day, uh, and, and the rest of me actually. It's not just the bits of gristle in your throat. You see, it's the whole instrument, darling. A voce. <laughs> have you stopped being Lily? No. No, I'm doing, I'm doing panto at the moment. As Lily? Yeah, yeah, Wicked Queen and I Snow White. Lily. I love Lily. What else? Poisoning. Is Lily based on anybody that you no, know? No, I never knew anybody like Lily, really. I mean, it's a cartoon Was she character. bits of people? Little bits of me auntie and bits of, you know, women. <laughs> but she'll be pleased. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Christmas, auntie. <laughs> no, she's dead. I need Donna Stokes to tell her that. Oh, yeah. no, no, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> <laughs> it's bits of sort of various women I've met along the yeah. way, you know, sort of all moulded into one. OK. You had £2,000, which is good. You have not yet touched any lifelines. Uh, question number seven is £4,000. You'd lose £1,000 if you give me a wrong answer, but you've got all three to help you through. Have a look at it. This is for four grand. It's question number seven. In the 1933 film King Kong, it's taken from a prehistoric island to which US city? Paul, you know this. What are you wanting to see? <laughs> New York. New yeah. York. What it think OK, see what yeah. happens. I think we know this. Chicago. No. Dallas. No. New York. Yep. New York, New York. Los Angeles. Yep. Martin Lanson. Yep. But he's on the Empire State Building. Building. There's with only one in his hand, isn't yeah. it? So it's New York. There's only one Empire State Building. It's the right answer. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> 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 We're getting there, Kurt. Four thousand. We've only got four grounds. <laughs> Do you always sing at the top of your voice when you're excited? All the time. You should have How was your honeymoon? Um, it's an army. It's an army. Are you screaming and singing oh, in labour? Oh, you have £4,000. Hours of it. I can imagine. Now, uh, serious money. The money going up now very fast. Double up to £8,000. Question number eight. You have all three lifelines. You have not yet touched one at all, which is great. Have a look at question number eight. Uh, you threw away from £32,000. This is for eight grand. Which TV personality co-wrote Starlight Express and The Phantom of the Opera, co-wrote Starlight Express and The Phantom of the Opera. Richard Stilgoe, Giles Branrith, Alan Corran, Frank Muir. It's for £8,000. It wasn't Frank Muir. He used to have the stammer and he was on um, that programme that was on with that other fella. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you know the one I mean? I've no idea. I, I, Giles Brandes wears the knitted sweaters, doesn't he? Oh, um, yes, he doesn't write stuff. Does he still write? Doesn't he wear knitted jumpers? I think it's him as well. Well, I know Richard definitely was on the Phantom of the Opera to start with, and he writes great lyrics, yeah. so... Yeah, it's definitely not them two. I don't no. know who Alan Corran is. Oh, oh, he's nice, Alan. Is he? Oh, yeah, I can call my bluff with him. He's oh, nice, but I don't... That's the programme of Frank Muir, Call My Bluff. Yes, that's well, that's... Yeah. Yes, but the question's not about Call My Bluff, no, so okay. put that to one side. So, do you reckon it's Richard Stilgo? I do. OK, then. 
Bad lads. Do you want to ring somebody up? No, because then we'll waste the phone no. call. Come on, we're gonna, we said we wouldn't do this. Yeah, OK, then, we're go on. risk it. Go on. I think it's Richard Stilgo. Final answer. Final answer. You've just won £8,000. <laughs> hey, well done! <laughs> <laughs> I love this thing! It's so funny! <laughs>